we have made it to the town of Malacca and we're exploring the area of Malacca. Let's take a look at what we find in this unique town in Malaysia. We are taking a walk along the Malacca River. Along the Malacca River, you can take a boat ride, view some of their art murals, or have lunch at one of these wonderful Riverside cafes. To an area known as the Bastion Victoria Ruins. According to the information posted here, the ruins were started by the Portuguese back in 1588 and continued by the Dutch in 1792. Let's take a look at these ruins to see what they entail. <laughs> And we are heading on to the Malacca River Cruise. Good. The best thing about taking this river cruise is that you get to witness and get a bird's eye view of the mural art along the Malacca River. turning this vessel around and heading right back down the way we came. down the river we got to see a lot of the art from a different perspective and it was a great way to cool down and enjoy the river breeze yeah this is a one-of-a-kind cruise recommended and how much did it cost to take this cruise this was 30 ringgit a person so roughly about seven dollars a person completely worth it it was it was a nice way to cool off on a hot hot day especially here in this unesco town of Malacca in Malaysia. We are walking down Yonker Street, the location of one of Malaysia's most famous market nights.
taking a ride on the Manara Taming Sari. Otherwise known as the Sky Tower, where we can get a bird's eye view of Malacca. on a spot all by ourselves. From the top of the ride, you can see all the destination points of Malacca. It was 23 ringgit per person or approximately $6. Much recommended, especially if you want to see everything in the city in one take. We're off to our next location. And we are on our way to the Maritime Museum in Malacca, Malaysia. up to this big gigantic former Portuguese boat the top part of any ship or any boat is known as the poop deck and right now the poop deck is currently closed the Maritime Museum was once a boat known as the Portuguese now was once used as a merchant ship and also as a battleship Today the interior has been redesigned and used as a museum. Always gotta take off our shoes when we go into any kind of building. The area behind me consists of Malaysian merchants that would trade with people from various countries, including Portugal, Arabian countries, India, Russia, and the UK. This window behind me is very interesting because it gives you a bird's eye view of what the Portuguese soldiers might have saw when they came into port here in Malacca, Malaysia. Oh, this is interesting. This is from the Huntington Library in Pasadena, California. The height of this boat is about four stories high. From this height, coming into port, you can see everything for miles around. Enemies, or merchants on shore.
portion of the museum. Let's show you an example of what was confiscated by customs here in Malacca, Malaysia. We got some illegal fireworks. Over here we have cigarettes. Caro and Marcy. And look, even a tequila bottle confiscated. And we have some vitamins and minerals. They even confiscated bath balls. Remember the bath balls from the 80s and 70s? My grandma used to use those in the bathroom for her bubble baths. They even confiscated Kirkland. I'm sorry, ma'am, you can't bring those here from Walmart. Some of the questions that I get from curious viewers are about drugs in other countries. Drug use in Malaysia is highly prohibited and can result in death or hanging. Here's an example of what kind of drugs were confiscated by customs here in Malacca, Malaysia. They would smuggle them in with these things. And then these are the stamps that were placed on the drugs to show you where they came from. And down there is what appears to be heroin. And look, there's an example of someone smoking opium. And here are some of the examples of pipes that they use to smoke opium and pipes to smoke other stuff. And take a look down here. Processed opium. The best thing about the area of Malacca is the Malacca River. If you follow the Malacca River, it can take you to wherever you want to go. By visiting the museum here in Malacca, we were able to learn more about the history of this town, this area. We can view remnants of Malacca's past just by viewing the environment around us. And as we continue down this path, there are less people, less tourists. Because the tide is out, the riverbed is exposed. And on the bottom of the sand of the riverbed are hundreds and hundreds of crabs. Also on the riverbed are these amphibious looking fish that walk and breathe. It's almost like a mixture between a reptile and a fish. There's some interesting wildlife going on over here. Here's the beach. Not much of a beach, but the river meets the ocean. This body of water behind us is known as the Malacca Strait. At this specific location, you can actually see the history of Malacca in the present. This area of Malacca tells a story of its own. The area that we are walking through right now to this day is still undeveloped and many of the areas are cordoned off to keep people away from the area and to also block tourists from seeing the undeveloped areas of Malacca. And we are heading into Old Town Malacca. Stepping in to Malacca is almost like you're stepping back into time, especially with buildings like the ones that are standing behind me that are still here. This one in particular was built in 
often do you get to touch a 500-year-old building? They don't make them like this anymore. Ow. Lots of hiking going up to this hill.